What's up guys, welcome to your 44th Android tutorial for the new boss and again with me Travis and what we're going to do is kind of give you guys a review on passing data, getting data, starting an activity for a desired result. Um, so we're going to build kind of our own application and kind of because I mean we briefly talked on those subjects but it's kind of probably confusing for the most part so we're going to build our own application and break it down for the most part. So what we need to do is set up two XML layouts. So I'm just going to hit set those up real quick. Um, I'm going to call one send.xml and I'm going to call the other one um, other one git for the most well I don't know what I'm going to call this. Yeah, git or yeah, there we go. Basically, um, in our Git XML, it's going to be a pretty simple layout. We aren't really going to care about the layout for the most part. We're just going to add an edit text, so under our text fields, plain text right there, and um, two buttons, and then a text view. But we are going to do something new with this layout for the most part, so uh, stay tuned for that. But um, two buttons and an edit text and let's go into the XML because this is what I'm going to teach you guys that's new for the most part instead of relative or I'm sorry linear layout we're going to learn about relative layout because some of you guys might like this for developing and whatnot so instead of linear view just type relative layout and there we go and then delete our orientation because we won't need that and let's set up our edit text um, the ID and all that stuff for all these things. So our edit text is right here, and we're going to change this to et send because we're going to send some data through the edit text, and then um, it's pretty good. For a button, we're going to say start activity. For the text. And our other button, we're going to say start activity for result. Just kind of get this boring stuff set up for the most part. Not res oh wow, result. And then um, B, we're going to say S A F R for start activity for result. And then um, B just S A. BSA for the edit and then for a text view we're gonna say TV for text view and then got and leave it as text view for now it doesn't really matter then what we're gonna do is what we can we can find the with the relative layout is the position positioning for the most part as you can see it's kinda of messed up at the, at the moment everything's kinda of set in the same position so what we're gonna do is we have this basically our uh, edit text here this lines mess me up for the most part we have the edit text and what we're gonna do is just um, kind of lay out these buttons according to the other little items within here so what we're gonna say is Android for our button Android and then we can say uh, layout and then we can say like below I believe and then we just add the reference of whatever ID that we, we want to lay it below so we're going to say um, well at ID forward slash ET send and let's check that out save it and it's going to put below and then another method we can use is like aligning that that button so we're going to say Android and we're going to align it according to the parent which is uh, the ID reference that we just set up so we're going to say Android layout align uh, parent right so we're going to set it up to the right of basically the text view and it's going to align it to, to that and we need to set this to true or false so we're going to say true and as you can see it moves this button over here now we're just going to set this start start activity for result um, to the left of this button that we just set up so we're gonna say um, Android uh, layout left oops, or to 
to the left of and then we just uh, oops. sorry I always for some reason um, to the left of and then uh, we have to reference ID again so we're gonna say ID forward slash whatever ID of that button was so that was uh, ID BSA so ID BSA and then um, check that out it's gonna be aligned to the left but what we're now going to do is set basically the top alignment to the left of that parent as well or you'll see I'm sorry it's kinda of hard to talk and think at the same time man but uh, so, so now what we're gonna do is basically say to the left of and then we also say layout and we have to set up the alignment so we're gonna say align uh, top and then we can set this equal to basically our, our reference as well so we're going to say a, at id forward slash bsa not question mark forward slash bsa and uh, check that out and it's going to align the top with the top of this pretty much alignment now, see, I mean, I don't know if you guys want to use relative layout or not, but I just thought I'd show you guys the option. All we need to do now is change this text view as well. So we're going to say um, just quickly Android layout and then below at whatever that button was called. So that's the um, at ID forward slash B start activity for result and you know that's good enough for the most part you could also set the alignment uh, to there as well but I just want to show you guys the relative layout how that works and then we're also gonna set up our other layout in the next tutorial so I'll catch you guys then peace